How's it going, everybody? Skittlekicks here, and I am back with another episode of Euro Truck Simulator. So we are taking a tractor on this new low boy bed that I bought uh, to um, Switzerland. We're actually going to Geneva, and this is from Turin. So let's get on the road. All right, here we go. I have to go down to low gears because this is a really heavy load. Hopefully I can haul this thing. All right. It's the first time I'm actually driving with these long, uh, uh, long low boy trailers, but uh, it shouldn't be too bad. It seems to be pretty smooth. Hopefully I'm going the right way. So I got to go this way. I'm just watching the map very carefully because, oh, yeah, it's going to start me off in a weird area. All right, so it's fine. Take this one way around wide if I can. Hopefully nobody's bothered by the beacons here. Uh, I would feel really bad for those who uh, have epilepsy uh, that this light might actually bother you. My apologies. All right, yeah, she's got some power under the hood. Okay, fantastic. So no problem on this thing. All right, cool. Get up a little bit higher. Probably start off in eighth gear. I think I can do that just fine. Oh, nope. Left turn. Just slow the bumps. Oh, turn be, left. I don't think going to be much traffic. It's like 2.12 uh, in the morning. I wanted to do one of these as a night mission because there's always going to be less traffic uh, this time of night. And... Uh, Shouldn't be too bad. Get ready to turn right. All right, it's probably gonna be a lot of turning, a lot of crazy turn stuff right. getting out of the city here, but uh, that's okay. And at least the lights aren't on, so I'm not gonna deal with too much traffic. There we go, fantastic. We'll float some gears here. It's only 50 through here, so I should be good about there. Oops. Wrong button. There we go. Yeah, that'll work. I'm not going to speed it up quite yet until I get around this corner here. It feels, it feels a little dangerous trying to go super fast um, through these corners at 70 kilometers, but uh, I can bump it up now. First turn is coming up now. Hopefully, I don't get hung up on these guardrails because that's always been my uh, the bane of my existence. <laughs> right, if I start losing power, I'll just downshift, but that shouldn't be too hard. I've gotten kind of used to this uh, to this thing here. Oh yeah, this drives actually pretty well, uh, surprisingly. Um, it's not like the heavy hauls or the oversized loads in uh, ATS where you really have to work your transmissions and your engines. But this is not too bad. I think there might be a, a limit uh, in truck size that you actually have to deal with, but I don't know 100%. There we go, about 80. 16. That should be good right there. Looks like I got a right turn coming up here now. So how are you all doing? Uh, I'm doing okay. It's a Saturday for me. And um, just been having a blast making these videos for you all. And hopefully you all are enjoying them. I, Like I keep saying, keep driving. driving these trucks is so much fun. And I know I'm kind of a derp when it comes to driving. But uh, yeah, no. Let's go ahead and slow down a little bit Exit here. right. I have thought about doing some free driving where I just, you know, haul a trailer around with no load and it's just me driving around. Um, I don't know if you guys want to see that at all, but I would be more than willing to do it uh, if there's an interest. 
Um, so, you know, to, to uh, kind of see uh, other sites and just kind of free drive around and all that might be kind of fun. I don't know. But if you'd like to see that, let me know in the comments below, and I will certainly uh, uh, put uh, put a simple route together. Maybe uh, you know, drive around and make it like a multi-part series. You know, like just free drive or whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, I gotta get over. Crap, not gonna have much time. There we go. All right, here's the. Uh, I don't know what the difference is. Like you have telepaths and they have the car telepaths. I don't know what the difference is. But I'll follow the truck here because he's going over here. And this is probably where I have to go to. Uh, looks like this lane's open. I'll do this. Oh, this is for both. Okay. Slow down a little bit. Oh, pull up a little more. go. $12. Okay, cool. Thank you. That's one, one nice thing about now having my controller working is I finally can set all the buttons I need to for ease of gameplay. I was so tired of having to reach across to my keyboard in order to, uh, uh, you know, set cruise control or whatever. I mean, there are some buttons that I don't mind using on the keyboard, like flashers or beacon or whatever, but some you just, you know, because it's so awkward to switch, you know, from that to that with, you know, where you have, like, only one hand holding the controller. Um, you know, I was looking, it's kind of weird, but I was looking up a way to modify my PXN uh, V3 Pro steering wheel and make it a 900 degree uh, turning radius, but I have a feeling that the reason why it's so limited is because there's a, a flat bar um, gear that's at the base of the steering wheel that probably is um, what limits you so there might not be a way of actually doing this let's go over here oh, that was too much break too much break too much break looks like it's another telepass Back up to speed here. Got some cruise control so I can let go of the trigger. And get back up to speed. There we go. Cool. I'm getting a little better at it. It's, it's a matter of like positioning your hands too. Like my, I have to switch between my index finger and my middle finger in order to uh, switch the throttle. And uh, use my index finger as the... Uh, uh, shift up, but you know, I don't think I can go any faster. Can I? Oh, I can. Cool. Go to 90 then. Perfect. Oh, and of course, you go back down. It would be nice if SCS would start going through some of the assets that they put in some of these locations and just remove them. Because, as I said, not everything has to have like a, a complication, you know. Companies would not waste truckers' time by putting objects in the way to try to get them to go around them and all that stuff. I mean, yes, you will find trailers. Yes, you will find, you know, shared or not shared, but uh, like at loading docks or whatever, you will find multiple trailers, especially like at an Amazon or a Walmart. But they wouldn't have pallets out in the middle of the road where you have to like, 
you know, circumvent them or go around them or whatever. They would not have um, this. Um, you know, it's slowing down. Uh, they wouldn't have all that junk around. So again, I don't know why they do that. Me, uh, oh, I gotta slow way down here. Way, way, way down. Here's my telepass. Um, I guess I can go through this one. I should not have slowed down that much. I didn't know this was going to automatically open for me. Doggone it. Can I go to 110? I don't think I can. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna let me go. To, no, I'm not gonna wait. No, you can't go more than 90. Okay. Ooh, she maxed out there. Should be able to get this no problem. There's those transitions that are really weird. Turn left. Traffic's coming. I get nervous about crossing these intersections, I'll tell you that. Oh, that was a curb check. Oh, there's Geneva right there. Cool. But it's not my location, I don't think. At least not yet. Eh, get over. Jeez. Windy roads are not fun for trucks. I will tell you that. section up here. Yeah, it is. Oh, I hear birdies. I hear birdies. It's going to be down to at least fifth. There we go. Well, sixth work. Our stop is over here. Turn left. Let's go ahead and try to just roll this around. There we go. Nice. Get ready to turn right. All right. Let's go ahead and put our flashers on because we know right. we got to turn here. Okay. There's our drop right there, there. So we'll try to take this in a little shallow, without hooking this thing. It's all over now. Yeah. Sure is. And just kind of roll this thing in a little bit. Drop down a couple of gears. Now hopefully I don't have to back this thing up because that would suck. Yeah, I think I'll get this one. Cool. I think I will. Maybe. There we go. Perfect. All right. Brakes on. Engine off. Flashers off. There we go. All right. So that took... Uh, 340 kilometers to arrive, six hours and a minute, 205.1 uh, liters of fuel, and $10,765 have I made. Fantastic. All right, folks. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, comment, share the videos, and subscribe if you have not already. And also click on the bell and so to all notifications so you know when a new video comes out. Take care, everybody. Bye for now.